Got everything we need. We're gonna do a little French pressing today. I'm not a big coffee drinker, but if you're gonna get a mug, you want the different strokes mug. A little Arnold Drummond. What you talk about, Willis? And if you're gonna get a coffee for someone like me, it's gotta be the smooth operator. I mean, reduced acid's gotta be good for something. And this four cup coffee maker, the dogs running around the background. We're gonna see how this turns out today. Might have to get more or less involved in this. What you talking about, Willis? press never done this before but we have everything we need french press we've got a great coffee mug here and we've got some coffee so according to the instructions we've got crack open our coffee which me being new to the whole coffee deal I'm not really that smooth with it, but let's check it out. Mm, interesting flavor. So, I think we got like, this is a four cup thing. So I think I need two, maybe three scoops of coffee in there, okay? All right, so we got that, fold it up. Oh, I need a spoon, because we have to pour this boiling water excuse me into this french press you total for half let it bloom for a minute Sure, at some point in the video, we'll just speed this up. Mm -hmm. It's been 30 seconds. Sure, want to try this coffee. Usually, this would be a good time to clean up, but I'm not that kind of person. Let's see. Get the press ready. So, after a minute, we're supposed to stir. of the remaining water. And I believe we cap and we let sit for four minutes. So we'll be back in four minutes. All right, it's been roughly four minutes, and now it's time to do the magic. Let's see how this works. Pressed. And we take our Arnold Drummond and pour us up a cup. And then we'll have to watch me try it now. All right, so. We are done with our press. We've got our French press coffee here. I don't know if you guys can see the steam coming off of it, but it's still pretty warm. All right, see, this is a smooth operator. 
It's a very light roast. So if you watched our coffee episode of the uh, um, OMD Learns, you will know that the lighter the bean, lighter the roast, supposedly, the more flavor still in the bean. So I finally was able to find a light roast. And now we're going to try the light roast. I've always suspected that I would be a big fan of the light roast. Um, dark roast just feel like it was burnt, tasted like it was burnt. So I just really wanted something that didn't really burn whatever I was supposed to be tasting, but it was just really more like what I was supposed to be tasting. So mm. that's heavy and black. It's definitely stronger. It's definitely stronger than um, putting it through that plastic coffee machine for like six bucks. Oh, 100% stronger. It's... I can taste it. I can really taste it. So overall, light roast kind of smells the same in the grounds, but it does have more of a flavor. So now I don't, I don't know. Now that I've had a light roast, I kind of think I like, I might want to go back and try a dark roast now and see if the flavor, the different, touches. this is going to be an interesting journey in coffee, everybody.